With commentary by Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Maharaj. Chapter 4, Introduction by Prabhupada. The confidential reasons for the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this chapter of the epic Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Dasa Kaviraj Goswami has stressed that Lord Chaitanya appeared for three principal purposes of his own. The first purpose was to relish the position of Srimad Radharani. Yeah. Srimad Radharani, who is the prime reciprocator of transcendental love of Sri Krishna. Sri yeah. Krishna. Lord Krishna is the reservoir of transcendental loving transactions with Srimati Radharani. The subject of those loving transactions is the Lord himself, ah. and the Radharani is the object. Ah. Ah. The subject... Who is the subject? ...is uh, Krishna, mm. and the Radharani is the object. What is the meaning? God become subject, and love become object. Radha is not a... That is called something name only. Radha is love. It's the name of goddess love. of love. Yeah. And Krishna is the goddess of supremacy. He is the supreme. No more than this. In our God, He is the supreme. Because He can do everything to please His devotee. This is the Mm-hmm. Only he is caring to how to please and satisfy his devotee. He is happy when the devotee becomes happy. Who love him, he becomes happy when they become happy. And he can do anything for that. You see? Mm-hmm. He becomes the subject, God becomes the subject and love is object. When the goal is love for him. Hmm. Thus, the subject, the Lord, hmm. wanted to relish the loving mellow hmm. in the position of the object Radharani. The second reason for his appearance was to understand the transcendental mellow of himself. Lord Krishna is all sweetness. Radharani's attraction for Krishna is sublime. And to experience that attraction and understand the transcendental sweetness of himself, he accepted the mentality of Radharani. The third reason that Lord Chaitanya appeared was to enjoy the bliss tasted by Radharani. Wow. The third reason that Lord Chaitanya appeared was to enjoy the bliss tasted by Radharani, to have the same experience she had of the pleasure of love. Wow. Enjoy the bliss. Can you explain that? Radharani is the source of love, the source of prema, of absolute divine love. 
which Krishna enjoys, but he wants to have the experience that she has of the prema, of yes. the divine love. Wow. So he comes as her. The Lord thought that undoubtedly Radharani enjoyed his company, and he enjoyed the company of Radharani, but the exchange of transcendental mellow between the spiritual couple was more pleasing to Srimati Radharani than to Sri Krishna. Radharani felt more transcendental pleasure in the company of Krishna than he could understand without taking her position. Wow. So he doesn't even understand the divine love that she has. She Who won. wants that? Krishna doesn't. That's the one. So he takes her position in order to understand what it's like. Take the position, not mood. Take the mood. Position and mood is different. Yes, exactly. I took the position of you, then I sit on your chair and take your mood means I keep. I, I want to change myself in that your feelings. Exactly. That is important. important yeah. This is a very. I want to take your position, but not your mood. <laughs> That's the difference. This is, I say, I made this mistake because it's a very Western idea, position, point of view. I sit there and I see the world like you do, but it's not feeling the world like you do. So I'm still a Western philosopher. Position and mood. Really, beauty is the Eastern philosophy. Yes. Radharani felt more transcendental pleasure in the company of Krishna than he could understand without taking her position. Mm. But for Sri Krishna to enjoy the position of Srimati Radharani was impossible because that position was completely foreign to him. Yeah, my God. That push her now. Giving love is too far. He had the nature to take the love, not give the love. He is receiving love from all his creation. Mm. He all they love me. This is the position of Krishna. Mm. He don't know how to give it. He give everything, body, air, oxygen and water and everything. But he expect Receiving love from us. That's our mood, isn't it, Gurida? To want to give love. Huh? That's our mood, to want no, to give love. No, give love in yeah? this material circumstances. Mm. And he give the toys also to play. If you have a love, then you will think for me, cry for me, like a mother, right? Baby cry for mother. But nobody cries. For him, they are crying for the material thing. The material toys. Toys. And then mother is happy because she has a full time to work. But mother expects love from the babies. She give love when baby also do a want to. This is the nature of Krishna. He expects also love from baby side. And babies are grown up. So they are busy in their toy play. <coughs> they have no time to think for and to give him. For him is a foreign Krishna for Krishna foreign because he is all, only want to receive, he's enjoy. He want to receive it. 
and Radhika has the nature to give. Radhika nature, why giving? Because he is one of the energy of Krishna. Allah. Allah means the, the happiness come in one side. That is Radha. And the creation come one side is is the enjoying nature for the happiness, for the love receiving. This side is Krishna. Mm. He's a receiver side and she's a giver side. Mm. The giver is higher or receiver is higher. The giver? <laughs> so that is for him is a foreign foreigner means. You don't know it. Who <laughs> don't know that. Mm. When you say toys, do you mean material, sensual, sensual pleasures? These are, these are Krishna's toys? Ego pleasures, ego, ego ego pleasure. pleasure. Last thing, material, last hmm. catching from all the senses. These are the egos. Huh? Hmm. To, act, to keep the existence in material identification. Materially, you recognize yourself. What is the Bible te teaching? Priest teaching, not Bible, sorry. Priest teaching, your body, <coughs> there is no soul, so you will die. You come to enjoy. No do sin, but do what you like. And if you come to do the sin, come to church, pay some fees, and I will remove your sin. Because it's a material side. They never bring to the spiritual side. But what is Jesus talking about relation, about love? What is the meaning of that? Samadhagya. Abhideha. He is not living in his body consciousness. Why not he dress nicely? He is living with a, in loving relation, madness, mm. like a pagal for his father love. Mm. He never say God, he say Father. When we have a love, we not to look like a God to God to him. Then you have no relation. He never say that I am a God, Jesus. But child, child, teach a priest to say, Jesus is a God. Dwight is talking to son and father. And priest say, Jesus is a God. Advaita philosophy. So they confuse, is it two or is it one? So they become Buddhist. <laughs> they confuse. Hmm? There is he teaching about the two. Love cannot go with one. How you can love yourself? Only love yourself means know your soul. How you will not love your body? Nobody loves body. Body is just material thing, like a leaf blade. But we live in the world, material thing. <coughs> why they say to Jesus, they say, it's spiritual, and why they say to priests, it's a religion. What is the difference? Nobody likes to know. This is the thing. When I want to know, then I say there is two angels. One is a receiver, one is a lover. Mother Jasoda, mother, receiver, giver, 
and the Krishna is re- receiver. Krishna is a receiver. Mm. And mother is giving that. Jesus is giving love and receiver was the father. So who is I? Jesus is I because he showed the way of love. But he is not a God. If you see like a God, means you are kaput. He is a lover. He is a son. If his existence is a son, is more beautiful, then you make him God. Okay. I'm still meditating on what you said, and then you went past very quickly. You cannot love the body. It's you not cannot a, love the body. You can only love the soul. Uh, if you love the body, then you cannot change your uh, love. Yeah. You can change for lovers many times because love was the senses, yeah. not a body. Body and senses. This is no love. Love goes from the heart. Jesus was here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the place to love, and that is the your feeling. Jesus love with his heart. Yes. What? Say the word. What is the word? Heart. Heart. Soul. Body. Mm. And mind. Mm. Everything. Soul also is there. Body and mind. But Guru, uh, in, inside of uh, Christianity, there are different level of understanding about this topic. You know, for example, there is uh, Saint Augustino. Saint Augustino explained the Trinity, one of the most famous uh, features in uh, Christianity. He explained that there is the Father, there is the uh, Spirit, uh, the Saint Spirit, and the Son. Mm. And he tell the son is Jesus, the father is God, and the spirit, uh, the same spirit is the love that exists between the father and the son. And the now one thing I say you, there is trinity. trinity, trinity. I don't know other thing. Trinity means. Yeah. He explained the Father, the Son, Jesus, yeah. and the love between them. And he considered the love between them is the higher. No, three things. Say again. The Father, the Son, and love. Yeah. And love between them. Soul not, is free. Father, is free, and Son. They say Holy Ghost in the Catholic. No, it's spirit. It's spirit. I don't know Holy Ghost, but it's spirit. It means the same. It means the same. It's spirit means. It's spirit means soul. Soul means who can fly other way. Sitting in this branch, he can fly to other other place. He's free from covering. Yes, no, but that, that is the And that is so. I am sitting in this body, I can fly, means this body will die. And body will die, but this soul is flying. Yes, but he did not explain this because he, he has knowledge this about this. research, you have to research it. Nobody research. <laughs> and India based Vedic philosophy is a hundred book on the spirit. <laughs> hundred books on the soul. But you cannot research because you have to read only line. You cannot research. You are offensive. You have to close your eyes to do the research. Research. <coughs> yeah, hundred books they write different way and not mistake. 
many books you will find for the God consciousness. You will find for the teacher. Son is a teacher. Guru. Yes. He is a guru. And Holy Spirit is take the throne. Holy Spirit. What is Holy Spirit? Your soul. What will make you to move? He, he considered three both are God. Not to, the three different aspects of God. Honey person. We expect Guru is also expect of the God. Yes. Sanatan Dharma. And uh, God is also aspect of the God creation. And Guru is in love with the Father. Teacher is navigator, he is more important than the God. Teacher is not a God, aspect of the God. Otherwise, is a Mayavadi philosophy. But then, please have changed in Mayavadi philosophy. They say that Jesus is God. But everywhere they love God, they love Jesus or the saint and have a fear from, of God. Usually, in Christianity, they have affection for, uh, for Jesus or for in, Mother in a, Mary. In your Vedic philosophy, they love too much to Guru <coughs> than God. This is my philosophy. Guru Nagari. When a Guru is a navigator, they do not do this. They believe that Guru, guru is the God. <coughs> it's all Maya. Guru cannot be a God, although he is a God, power of the God, but he is <coughs> Guru, navigator. He is not a goal. Goal is God. Love can be goal. God can just be God, but Guru cannot be a God, but we start praying like a God to him. He says, my hour. Then we forget to think for God. As soon as God becomes the goal, then we stop having feelings with God. No, no. Guru becomes goal, then you stop thinking for the God. And the whole, <coughs> who show the way of God, they are more beautiful. And that is Jesus. Guru can show the way of the God. So, Guru is a more beautiful, but he is a navigator. After that, he is a navigator. He cannot be a goal. Explain to her. She understands, not speak too much, but uh, she understands. This is my, my realization. <coughs> A conclusion of all Vedic philosophy. The moment we make goal to the Guru, Kaput, Mayavad, we carry the Mayavad. Many what is Mayavad? My wife, no relation. No. Traditional Vedic. After some time, I will think that I, I am, I am a God. Oh, you think that yeah, you become God? Yeah. This is my wife. Mm -hmm. We are the part and parcel of the God, not the God. Mm -hmm. We are not enjoyer. Then we think we are enjoyer. We can, we, we are enjoyed by joy. Enjoyment. Female is never enjoy, but the female think also to enjoy. That is male consciousness. God is the only male who enjoy with the enjoyed. The female means who give the enjoyment and male is enjoying. So enjoyer is only creator.
Krishna enjoys receiving the love, receiving the love, and the female soul. And is when given. I want to receive the love, then in the nature of the God, I want to see inside him. He's in my body. Prabhupada says, Krishna is the transcendental male, male and Radharani is the transcendental female. That is the point. Why to be a female? Because not come in nature of enjoyment. Identically, hidingly there, but not exactly. So Radharani to accept is the only way. Then that nature will come inside to give the pleasure to the Lord. And that is love. That is love. I see the Nityananda in Rome. <laughs> He is think that he is Jesus. He's, now he is Jesus. He was thinking he, he was Krishna and the, all the wife. Uh, he no, 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 Jesus. He said now. He changed. He, when he come, he say, "I am a Jesus, yeah. and I am helping them. Yeah. They are my lover, and I give love." To them. No Krishna, they don't say Krishna. He identified with Jesus. Jesus. Is a wrong concept. <laughs> it's a very sensitive point. So Mahaprabhu made that more clear. And a God is not subject. Love is the goal. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come to this. Love is the goal. And the subject is the God. Subject also he is the relation of the love. God is the subject. If you have a love, you no need to search to the God. Bible is telling St. Paul's, if you have a energy to move the mountains with your mystic energy, and if you have not love for the God, is very useless. Love for the God is important. Love is important to give to him. Love is the, and God is the subject to receive. Love is the highest than God. That is Radha. Feeling is the highest. Rasa is coming with feeling. And Rasa is Krishna, Raso Vaishta, Krishna. And feeling is, is a bhava. When Mahabhava is Radha, so if I have no feeling, how, how I will understand Radha? Feelings are important. Jesus has only feeling. Jesus does not live without feeling. He is a bother. He is a crazy person. His behavior and actions was crazy because he is mad in them. The madness of love is the beauty for the teacher who is guiding us. <coughs> we are so blocked, we not see. Prem is the prayojan, not God is prayojan. The, what is the goal of our life? Prem, living in the love, caring, loving. Who says that God is the goal? Show me any books. Ten, ten. Read the Bhagavad Gita, ten, ten. 
when you are signed with Krishna, <coughs> then slowly and steadily you receive alternative goal. Then you have a goal, higher goal. Then Krishna is not a goal. She in Bhagavad Gita 10, 10, Prabhupada writing. Krishna is not a goal. In between Krishna and you, love is the goal. Love and love is Radha. Why you differentiate love and feeling, not Radha? Feeling is Radha. One name of feeling is Mahabhav, is Radha. Stop your feeling and say that where is the God? Feelingless, never see the God. Is blocked person. Who has no feeling, they are blocked. No feeling, die. That is Radha. Feeling is Radha. <coughs> feeling. Jesus is mad why he is living in feelings. I, I like Jesus because of that. I understand very clearly <laughs> what he has. Although he is not a Braja mood to Jesus, he was in Dwarka mood. But he has a mood, that is the beauty of Jesus. Mood is there. We have no mood. Without relation, there is no mood. Without identifying material body and spiritual body, we don't understand how we there. And without Raghunath Das Goswami, we don't know the prayojan is the love. Prem is prayojan. They are the teacher, our Goswami. What is the prayojan of life? What is the use of this life? Prem, not God, not Krishna. Prem is prayojan. Show me any place in the scriptures. In Bhagavad Gita is mentioned that God is the good. Prem is the good. All acharyas, I can prove the understanding of the books. Prem is the good, love is the good. Faith, hope, faith gives you hope, and hope gives love. See that? No hope, no love. Clear or not? What mother gives? Love. Love. She no see God Krishna. The day he will mother Jasuda never recognize that he is a God. God means throwing out. Mother see on the side. We love. You feed the breast because the baby, not God. He will protect me, never think. I will protect to this baby. This is Bhaktarit. Right? Huh? The mother expects nothing from the baby. Huh? The mother yeah, expects what? nothing. Even the Jesus son not expect from his father. This is the <coughs> that. Why to expect from you? No. Gold never has to deviate. Therefore, to know 
the transcendental pleasures of loving Krishna, Lord Krishna himself appeared as Lord Chaitanya, accepting the emotions and the bodily luster of Srimati Radharani. Even you know, he is not qualified to know. He be, he become a student. He is a man, and go on. You will see that. Lord Chaitanya appeared in order to fulfill these confidential desires and also to preach the significance of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and to answer the call of Advaita Prabhu. This is like some with mountains. Verse 1. By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Raja according to the vision of the revealed scriptures. Even a foolish child knows this. Foolish child. Hmm? Purport. One can ascertain the meaning of this sloka only when one is endowed with the careless, causeless, causeless mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Krishna, being the absolute personality of Godhead, cannot be exposed to the mundane instruments of vision. Yes, mundane tools of vision. With the tool, with material, body cannot see, senses cannot see. My father ego. For the <coughs> my lungs cannot see. It's a maintain. My senses cannot see. And I want to see from that. He reserves the right not to be <coughs> exposed to the intellectual feats, activities of non-devotees. Without this truth, even a small child can easily understand Lord Krishna and his transcendental pastimes in the land of Vrindavan. Yeah. Verse 2. All glory to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all glory to Lord Nityananda, all glory to Sri Advaita Acharya, all glory to the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Verse 3. I have described the meaning of the fourth verse. Now devotees hear the explanation of the fifth verse. I have given the essential meaning of the fourth verse, fourth verse, this incarnation, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descends to propagate the chanting of the holy name and spread love of God. Verse 6, even though this is the external reason for the Lord's incarnation, please now hear the other reason, the confidential reason for the Lord's appearance. Text 7, the scriptures proclaim that Lord Krishna previously descended to take away the burden of the earth. To take away this burden, however, is not the work of the Supreme Personality of Godhood. The maintainer, Lord Vishnu, is the one who provides, who protects the universe. But the time to lift the burden of the world mixed with the time for Lord Krishna's incarnation. Purport. 
We have information from Bhagavad Gita that the Lord appears at particular intervals to adjust a time-worn spiritual culture. Lord Sri Krishna appeared at the end of Dvapara Yuga to regenerate the spiritual culture of human society and to man manifest his transcendental pastimes. Vishnu is the authorized Lord who maintains the created cosmos and he is also the principal deity who makes adjustments when there is improper administration in, in the cosmic creation. But Sri Krishna, being the primeval Lord, appears not in order to make such administrative adaptations, but to exhibit his transcendental pastimes and thus attract the fallen souls back home, back to Godhead. So Vishnu does the administration and Krishna attracts. So we see Krishna Vishnu for one. It's not like that. Hmm. One is a manager, one is a boss. Hmm. Krishna, supreme boss. And he has no any interest to creation and this, that. He only go to Honolulu. <laughs> and she stayed there with a Radhika and sometimes call and ask everything is okay. She is not in business with the creation. He never lived. <clears throat> he only supervises who is loving me, who loves them, he goes there. He goes many places, but then he sees that Radhika's love is the Supreme. Mother Dasuda love is the Supreme. My friends are the best lovers. So they, the role in this circumstances, lover circumstances, this is the business of Christ. He works by attraction, it says. Love. He attracts. Love is the attraction. Yeah, yeah. He is not as much attracted. His lover knows why he attracted with Krishna. He don't know himself why they attracted him. So he want to learn this. So he becomes <coughs> subject to learn this. Why they attract him? What is the beauty there? He, I say he want to see his attraction from the Radhika eyes. Understand? Mm -hmm. This is the thing. You want to see why they attract Radhika is so attracted to me. I want to feel it. Why she is so much attracted? You want to learn that love. So he took the form of Chaitanya. Verse uh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. Fifteen. The Lord's desire to appear was born from two reasons. The Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the meadows of love of God, and he wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform of spontaneous attraction. <coughs> ah. mm. Thus he is known as supremely jubilant and as the most merciful of all. The attraction. What is that attraction? Prem is that <laughs> Read again. Very deep. The Lord's desire to appear, appear, to learn, <laughs> was born from two reasons. Uh, why appear? Why born again? What two? The Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God. 
Yeah. And he wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform, on the basis of spontaneous attraction. Love. <laughs> attraction is love. <laughs> Read again. Very deep philosophy. The Lord's desire to appear, appear. Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Uh, was born from two reasons. Uh, the Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God. Himself. Krishna wanted to taste himself how they love me. Krishna appear become subject to feel it, why Radha and how Radha loves me? What is the reason behind that she loves me so much? What she find in me? I am not very sincere to her. I am always traveling many places, many, many have a sir. I have a responsibility to go and to meet each other. After she loved me, why? What is the reason behind that? I am not honest, and she is so honest to me. Read this. Um, the Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God. What is the essence, my Lord? It's not mentioned very details here. Yeah, sweet essence, so the taste, the rasa, of the mellows, of the moods. Moods, three type of moods. Motherly mood, conjugal mood, and friendly mood. You want to taste this mood, but this mood can be possible only by love. Only she has love. Mother has love, because you are lover has love, and friends has love. How is that taste? You have to be a student to love that. And he wanted to propagate, to increase devotional service in the world on the basis of spontaneous attraction. This is the master of Chaitanya. He wants to feel himself and he wants to give to others. Uh, spontaneous? Just one more. It's spontaneous, means automatic is happening. It's natural. It's spontaneous, it's natural. It's un not unnatural. Like you and you. One day you don't know each other. You know each other. You make talk with each other. You feel so more close to each other. And then when you become conjugal lover, everything is spontaneous to start happening. You don't need to go to school to learn it, right? That is the spontaneous natural. In the relation, everything happens spontaneously. <laughs> Not that we have to go to read the books to understand that. It's a feeling moves. You're not moving. Your feeling becomes flowing like that. You know, prepare, you don't go to take one book and study that. So how to do it tomorrow. In this life, no need is a natural. Is a is a nature of the soul. He knows this. What is what is raga is is natural. What is the nature knows. Your soul knows. 
that is my job. Uh, by demon, what is unnatural to press my self to do this? Is a violation. I have no desire, but by the influence of all of you, I have to do it. And, and what you say, spontaneous, means others do or not do, I am. It's a naturally high sentiment. What I think? It's my nature. What I can do is spontaneous. Is a natural. That is a rag anuga, raga anuga. In love, it becomes natural to me. How, how I can change, I don't know. If you have some help to me to change, I can translate the words for myself to say. <laughs> That is a response. I'm a foolish. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What is it? Bona? Bona? Buongiorno. 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 In Japan, they say. I don't know, I'm your job. What do you say, Japan? Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo you know, Ohayo is in America. Not Idaho. Oh, I am also to Japanese people. Many Japans are there. You know I am? I was there. Black. Big island. Yes. Go on. Go on. It's the purported saying just what you said. It's like you knew it. What? Listen. It's saying just what you said. <laughs> Um, the real purpose, this is probably, uh, prob the real purpose of Lord Krishna's appearance was to stage a dramatic performance of his pastimes at Virajabhumi and thus exhibiting the highest limit of transcendental mellow in the exchanges of love between the living entity and the Supreme Lord. These exchanges of mellows are called Raga Bhakti. You think? Explain it in Italian. Italian? Yeah. No, I'm not good enough. I to read it so <laughs> um, uh, His appearance was thus exhibiting the highest limit of transcendental mellow in the exchange exchanges of reciprocal love between the living entity and the Supreme Lord. This reciprocal exchange of mellows is called Raga Bhakti or devotional service to the Lord in transcendental rapture. Bliss. Esibire il più alto limite del, della dolcezza degli scambi devozionali, degli scambi d'amore, e, e questa cosa si chiama Ragabatti. This is natural. But what we are doing? We want to change not inside, we want to change outside. <coughs> And it's never changing. Inside is not changed, nothing is changed. Inside has to be changed in mallow. Natural mallow is motherly love. Natural mallow is friendly love. 
natural manner is conjugal. When your nature becomes to feel it, you change. Nobody can influence you. No one can change you. Like a Jesus, he influenced with himself and his son to the Father. Nobody can change him. He changed the whole world in this mellow, but nobody can change him. This is the beauty of natural, natural change, inner change. Inner change is the change, real change. No, understand. We want to change outside and not want to change, make the inner, inner change. Inner change is relation. All world is similar like before to me because inner change not happen. My living particle has to come in the matter. My soul has to change in matter. Is it nature? When it will change in one matter, nobody can change that. Then my vision will change. Like Sir Mama Sanatani is practicing in Marshall Rasa. Nobody can change her, this rasa. What she will see in the vision of mother. You know, how you can, you can change because it's a natural dharma. So what you want to make the mellow, it will be your nature. This is the simple thing. And that you want to come to help us preach. Radhe Radhe. Huh? Radhe Radhe. <coughs> Understand? Prem is prayoja. Huh? This is Prem is prayoja. Prem is. This is the point. God is not a prayoja. So why? Then Prem is Prayujan, then Radha is Prayujan. Because Prem, Goddess is Radha. I don't want to leave her and feet because she is a giver of love. And she is a receiver of love. He received that love. Mother is giver of love and Krishna is receiving that love. Not Krishna is giving love to mother. No. He is a receiver, he is a baby. Mother love, he comes to become a small child to receive that. He play with baby, like a baby with mother. This is the point. <coughs> In, it is so big, but in the front of the mother is baby. In the front of Mother Mary is a baby. This is the beauty of the Lord. Which type of love he has to receive, he become like that. This is the natural. That is Raga. It's not unnatural. What we are doing is unnatural. I am trying to press myself, but nothing achievement coming. I know achieve anything. Mm -hmm. What you would say is in the front of Mother Jasoda, 
Biz azgeç dostan biz. We become subject to realize the mother nila. It's not the subject, and mother is the object to receive the love. Understand? We have to throw out the God consciousness. That is the disturbance. He becomes subject himself to the object of mother to get this. Now, what he is never he is a foreigner for that. <laughs> he never relished that type of love. We don't know. Yeah. Only mother can give. Sir, father, my parents are there. Mom, I know. So he say, when you realize your soul, then what is dharma? Dharma is one place. What? How many books write Jesus? He never write anything. How many books write Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? No, eight is so. He also gives some commands. They are no writers. They are feeling, feeling, feeling. <laughs> Others are right. They feel other right. They they are interested in relishing that exchange of love. They are interested in that, not in writing books. Yes, please, sir. More. Okay. Lord Sri Krishna wants to read every line. If the purport is there, read that. Not only sloka. Yeah. Not shortcut. Okay. Not shortcut. <laughs> Krishna wants to make known to all the conditioned souls. Yeah. Can we have conditions? We don't see that. How to remove my condition? How to, how to remove my marginal nature? Ping pong, ping pong. How to be to to come from freedom? We want to be free. These are three natures of the soul. Without loving, with this nature will not be. Love will make you natural. When the natural will come, all will be vanished. Ego, lust, pendulum, means <laughs> ping pong finish. All will finish because love makes you useless. You have to think of a twenty-four seven that this is the problem. <laughs> So we don't want to enter in that feeling of the love, because I will be in control by them, and I want to free from that. I don't know. I want. I keep my own time. My marginal nature will be finished. Then. My condition will finish. I am using for my condition. Unconditioned. Unconditional have to come, and independency I will lose. You have to put all in your stake. You have to lose it. So nobody goes in relationship. How many are practicing? Even the bachelor side in the European world is a very stake giving prayer. <coughs> You offer yourself, you give yourself. That is Atma Nivedana. That you offer yourself is Atma Nivedana. Then you have nothing your existence. That is the point. You accept one mellow and you only start. You surrender yourself. That is relation. You have nothing yourself, no independency, no marginal, 
no condition. We feel, we feel this is dangerous, surrendering. Then surrendering, you know, it is dangerous to go in relation. Because I have no my independency, I have no my condition to enjoy. I will lose this. I have to die with this, automatically it will die. Mother no prepared to kill these things, but it naturally die because the goal is different. These goals are finished. Right? Mm -hmm. So nobody take this to like go in relation. Right? Understand? Then you are not a doer, you are a viewer. You see only. Doers are others. <laughs> that, that your lover become doer and you are viewing. What a surprise is happening to you. This is the Surprise happening. It's not surprise. It's a surprise every, <laughs> every moment is the surprise. You check there, money is here. You check here, what you want, everything is here under your pillow. Who keep, you don't know. He arranged everything because you are not a doer. So this is the point. Nobody wants to go in relation. Funny life they want to live. Do fun and bye bye. Okay. Nobody wants surprise. Nobody wants to go in healthy family life. Is happening in America, right? Real person goes in relation who has the real target capacity. They realize it, right? And so very, very difficult <laughs> to go in the relation. You understand that? And when you go in relation with the, this naughty boy, mother, naughty mother, son, child, and mother has to be careful if you are. <laughs> Conjugal lover and he's a very naughty, then he's a <coughs> very difficult to balance it. So, so that to see that. <laughs> and gentle person like him, that's no problem. So that he has to see that. Relation make you very your time is over. Your independence is gone. Right? That is Raghavanti. Understand? <laughs> That's the point. Then you are not a doer, you are. Once watching, and you enjoy that surprise. Hmm. Come here because the passage has to be here. Hmm. You have to come this side of the passage has to be. Here. Come this side, pass this So just pass it. Krishna wants to make known to all the conditioned souls that he is more attracted to Raga Bhakti than by the body. 
see that you see is attracted with ragabhakti that bhakti bhakti it is said bhakti bhakti hypocrisy can come hypocrisy hypocrites yeah must have a time many are there who is only preaching outside inside is emptiness and after 30 40 years they are also still empty golokananda Vishnu Maharaj, very close friend. Huh? So this is nothing without rivalry. Natural. Understand, Mahatma? It is said in the Vedas, the absolute truth is the reservoir for all kinds of reciprocal exchanges of loving sentiments. Wow. You are an American. You can explain this. Explain, explain. The absolute truth hmm. is made up of loving relationships between subjects. It's a reservoir. It's a tank. It's a place where loving sentiments, loving feelings are exchanged. What you want to me? Come, absolute truth has to be hmm. friend. Mother, ah, huh? conjugal lover. Mm. Only three malu is that you can be close with absolute truth. Jesus was also in absolute truth with malu. He becomes son and he makes father. Chaitanya, Krishna himself took the cover with the mallow of Radha, conjugal cover. He wanted to learn what is the beauty of conjugal love. From Radhika, the absolute truth is not love; it's loving. Yes. That one. Hmm. He is the student, hmm. and you have to teach him your loving. You have to teach him your loving with your capacity. What you have from that way, he wants to learn. You, uh, your capacity will grow with that. He became a student, right? Mm. To learn that. He is not giving; he is receiving. <laughs> he received that. Sometimes, please, why say Jesus is God? Because they see that his father is receiving love of his son. It's nice. Son love. How is the son love? Jesus teach. He receive giving to his father. Are but a beautiful son. I am a beautiful son. I am ready to give myself for you. I am ready for crucifying for you. I give myself. That the, he is a receiver. At the same moment, he realizes this love.
Because they assigned with Krishna, and Europe does not assign with Krishna. They not accept Krishna, so they are repeating Krishna, Krishna to fix this mind. Yes, they accept it. Okay, you are done. We want to develop relation with you. We have no business to know you. <laughs> assign means you go to realtor, you assign one agreement, you will not search. If you search, they will find you. They can sue you, right? So you assign, and then you are looking again, same subject again, flat searching. Means you are not assigned it. So they know how to sign it. They have no other subject to talk higher than that. What they will talk? Understand what yes, is yes. meaning of assigning? Once you have a contract with God, there's no more talking. Why to talk? You talk how to do <coughs> more upper side. Like a church, same line you have to repeat, means you not assign the assign anything. And you cannot comment, you cannot ask what, what is right and wrong. You will throw it out yeah. from the church. Yeah, you cannot do. They can ask questions to any moment. <laughs> I 
Nandeshwar Mahadev place is this, not Krishna place. <laughs> yeah. This mountain name is Nandeshwar Mahadev. This place is Jasoda Mahya Nandavava place. Nobody say Krishna place there. Eh? Importance of this. You see the nature of the person who is in Raga Bhakti, real mellow. Nobody can change them. They're mellow. Nobody can change them. And who is in Badi Bhakti, under time they will change their mood, under time they will change their behavior. Up and down, up and down, life will go like this. Nobody will, nobody can control. But when you change your mellow in one feeling, nobody can again change you. It is for long, for permanent. And that is a previous sanskar. It comes by previous sanskar. <coughs> with previous life, we have some sukriti, automatic happen in my life. Rati, Rati, go, 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 go,